Oh, it's recording! Merry Christmas! It's not Christmas, it's In fact, I'm gonna upload this by like either March or April. Way off. Way, way off. I don't know what the date is by the time this video is uploaded. Just for the record, I recorded this on some day that was a Monday. I don't know what day it is. Is it like the something of February? Uh, it's like it's leap day soon. It's gonna be leap day. What is it? Happy leap day, guys! Um, it's either gonna be leap day soon or I'm gonna upload this on leap day. I don't know, but. Hey! Hey! Anyone know the, anyone know the date? Oh, shut up, iPhone. Shut up, Apple. I'm, 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 I'm done with Apple. I'm hiring myself with hair. You're an Apple. Dang. Tard left. Tard left. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. Now we go down here to get the next. They're looking for red coins we didn't notice. See, it says a little six, there's only eight, always. I don't know what the Nintendo with, with Nintendo and eight. Usually, you don't know if you use a lot of seven. If you didn't know, no, seven is a lucky number, and in China or Japan, or Japan, Japan, where Nintendo's made. Um, Japan, they kind of take that too far. No offense. And I think like every Nintendo game has some kind of like seven innuendo in it. I'm, I'm not joking. Every Nintendo game, I will do a video of it if I have to when I can. What? Every Nintendo game has some kind of seven. Every Paper Mario game has seven stars. Okay. Some kind of star. Crystal star, star, dudes, base things. Uh, I know Eevee can evol evolve into seven different things. What the fuck are you doing, Nintendo? Uh, Kirby. Uh, I think there was something seven in that game. What was seven? Something seven? There was something seven in Kirby. I don't know what I'm going up here for. Um, I think it was like seven something. Yay. I know there's usually seven worlds in that game. And like the, yeah, it's usually seven worlds in Kirby, except usually it's either the seventh world is hidden or like a hidden eighth world, one of them two. Um, if you count all the mini games, it's one thing. Kirby Superstar has seven different games, really. Uh, let me think of other things. Seven. Uh, Nintendo's done. Uh, Zelda. There are approximately. Seven somethings. There are seven sevens. And seven of uh, seven games. Whee! Whoa, dude, that thing went right past me. That was a smash for you, bro. Yeah. The magical bitch. Yeah. Mario was kind of mad. Like, yeah, Mario. Okay, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna go back there again. We're actually gonna go to some new levels here. Oh. Oh, sad face. Now, we're gonna go to Peach's secret slide. Secret slide. It's a secret. Up here. They did a good job in this, considering it's our first time with a 3D game. A 3D platformer. Because the first 3D game they did was like a ship flying game. It was Star Fox on Super Nintendo. It's our first 3D game, I think. I think. Quote me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna crash into the wall here so I can miss a star because I don't want to get it right now. Go backwards! Like a pro! Wee! Wee! Mario can't even see what's going on. How's he doing this? I have no idea. It's truly the magic of Mario games. Now, no, there is not a 100 coin star in this level, so don't worry about that. This is a short little level they made. Okay, good. Got it. I didn't want to get that second star here. Whoa! Did you see him, like, walk backwards for a minute there? That's one of them. That's okay. Weird. Got yeah, 42 star, 42 coins in like no time. Too bad the coins won't actually do anything in this game except give you stars and extra lives. That yeah, sucks. Why are you going back? Now there's a second star here. If you didn't know about that, this is actually one of the more difficult stars in the game, considering the beginning. And you want to do this because you go faster when you do this. I don't know why. But you want to time it just right so you land here like this, and then the timer starts. And then that's okay. I don't mind. I, I got fast enough that I can get 21. I used to have trouble with this star, but I can get like nothing now. Where's the star? 
See, if you get it under 21 seconds, you get a star. I guess 21 must be some kind of lucky number, too. 7 times 3, I know that. And 7 is just impossible. Uh, but, uh, 21, yeah, Mario Sunshine is a similar star. Whereas, like, these blooper races, if you get that under 21 seconds, you get a star for that. I guess science right. So, I guess it's kind of like making fun of this level, or something like that. The next level we're going to go to is right here. Now, we're gonna actually going to get all the stars here this time, so... This is actually one of my favorite levels in the game. It's one of the most memorable ones. Simply because I died so much here. I know! You okay? Are you okay, buddy? No! Okay, so if you didn't notice, this here is something with Womps in it. I think it's Womps Fortress. Yeah. And, uh, this is actually, if you played Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, and you played the, uh, what's it called, uh, one galaxy is like the, uh, throwback galaxy, I think so it's called, um, it's actually this level, and I thought that was pretty funny. It's called the throwback galaxy, and actually, you do this level in Super Mario Galaxy 2, I thought that was pretty cool. If you didn't notice, there's actually a Super Mario Sunshine level there, too. You had to go to, uh, I think it was one of the slides, wasn't it? One of them things, one of them, uh, doo -doo -doo. yeah, it was, it was that doo -doo 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 thing, you know that one? Oh, yeah. It was one of them, it was the one, it's the one in that tower in, uh, in that, uh, one place, that one harbor thing, Rico Harbor, you know that one tower inside that one thing, is that room thing, yeah, it's that thing, that's what I'm talking, that's what I'm referring to. That one's a hard one, it's actually pretty easy with Galaxy. Because you get the cloud thing with it. But instead of spoiling all the other Mario games for you guys, I'm just going to continue with this. If you didn't notice, this is a very short star. Who the heck? I'm on your head, bro! This one, there's nothing special about these stars. Um, and Bob on Battlefield, the rest of the stars require a special power you're gonna get later in the game. But uh, this one, there's nothing like that. This is all the easy stuff you can do at the very beginning of the game if you want to. I'm very good at climbing this tower, I know. You can watch out for these. These are Thwomps, if you didn't know their names. And they're one of my favorite enemies. Remember, I liked, I liked seeing them a lot in uh, Mario or Mario Kart. They didn't have this game when I was a kid. This is actually one of my more recent N64 games that I got, like, a couple of years back. I actually played it. Actually, my first time I played this game was on the Wii when it came onto the Virtual Console. You just won! I'm not going for Rick Horn, sorry. I'm going to the top of the tower. This, this is basically just an extended version of the last one with no boss. And instead of fighting Womp at the top of the tower, you have this thing climb. You see? And this will be here. This will be here every time from now on. It's, there's no more Womp. So if you don't like... Uh, if you don't like the Thwomp... Sorry, not Womp. Thwomp is the one that's great, dudes. If you don't like fighting the Thwomp, then you don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna grab the star. Da -da -da -dun -da -dun -dun. No, Womp is the blue dude. Womp is the gray dude. Yeah. Womp is the blue dude. This is... Womp's Fortress. Womp. Womp is the gray dude. Thwomp is the blue dude. Okay. Yeah, see? And... Cause, is it like Kathomp or Kathomp or like, something like that? There's a uh, third dude. He's like a big version of, of Thwomp. And he's like a gray dude with white things out of him. Anyways... This is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next Bye. time. Bye!